Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? From what we have here, this follows when we have a is to the power m plus n. This same thing as a is to the power m times a is to the power n. At this here, we have 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power 1 minus. Also, this follows when we have a is to the power m minus n. This same thing as a is to the power m. Over raised to the power n. At this here we have 4 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power 1 equals to 100 on this side. At this, we can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power 1, that's 4 minus. Also, here we have 4 raised to the power x times 1 over 4, then equals to 100 on this side. This here we have 4 raised to power x common. Factor it and we have 4 raised to power x into brackets. Here we are left with 4 and minus. Here we have 1 over 4 left close bracket equals to 100 on this side. Then here we bring this fraction together as one is 4 over 1. At this we have 4 raised to power x into brackets. SCM here that's 4. We have 4. Then 1 in 4, that's 4, 4 times 4, 16 minus 4 in 4, 1, 1 times 1, 1, close bracket, equals to 100 on this side. That is, this becomes 4 raised to the power x times 16 minus 1, that's 15. Then over 4, equals to, here we have 100. Then to remove this 15 over 4, multiply both sides by its reciprocal, that's 4 over 15, here. Yeah. Also, multiply by 4 over 15, here. Yeah. This cancelled each other from here. Then we have 4 raised to the power x equals to 100 times 4 over 15. And this becomes 4 raised to the power x equals to here yeah, we can raise as 5 times 20 and times 4 over here yeah, becomes 5 times 3 and here yeah, 5 cancelled each other then we have 4 raised to the power x equals to 20 times 4 over 3 then Next step here, we take the log on both sides. As this, we have log 4 raised to the power x equals to log 20 times 4 over 3. But this, this, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, which is the same thing as p log m. But this here, what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log 20 times 4 over 3. And here we apply the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b over c, this is same thing as log a plus log b minus log c that is here we have x log 4 equals to log 20 plus log 4 minus log 3 then here we, we divide both side by log 4 as this divide this side by log 4 also divide this side by log 4 which implies that log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 20 plus log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, here we separate this into three fractions. And we have x equals to log 20 over log 4 plus log 4 
over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then here log 4 cancel each other. We have 1 left. That is, here we have x equals to 1 plus log 20 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then also here, we can express 20 as 4 times 5, which implies we have x equals to 1 plus log 4 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here, we apply the law of log here. We have x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then here also we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. As this here, log 4 cancel each other. We have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, then plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, yeah, we can rewrite 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to 2 plus log 5 over log 2 square minus log 3 over log 2 square. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. 2 comes here and also here. Then we have x equals to 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. That is here, yeah, this same thing as x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2, then minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then we apply change of base here when we have log a over log b. The same thing as log a to base b. That is, this becomes x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Then, next step here, we bring this together as a fraction. This is 2 over 1. That is, x equals to the SMA, that's 2. And this becomes 4, then plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. That is the value of x here we have. x equals to 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is to substitute the value of x here. It is x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 plus 1 
then minus also 4 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 minus 1. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then here, you bring this power together as one. This is 1 over 1. And we have 4 raised to the power SM of A. That's 2. And here, we still have 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. Then plus 2 here now. Then minus. Also here, we have 4 raised to the power SM of A. That's also 2. And we have 4 plus log. 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then minus 2 here is it equals to 100 on this side that is here we have 4 plus 2 that's 6 this become 4 is to power 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 minus also 4 raised to power 4 minus 2, that's 2, that's 2 plus log 5, is 2 minus log 3, is 2 all over 2. This is equals to 100 on this side. That is also 4 can be written as 2 square, which is raised to power 6 plus log 5, is 2 minus log 3. Base 2 all over 2 minus. Also, here we have 2 square, which is raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. This is equals to 100 on this side. Then this power multiplies each other. We have to cancel each other here. Yeah? What we have becomes 2 raised to power 6 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 then minus also 2 cancel each other here we have 2 raised to power 2 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 is it equals to 100 on this side that is yeah we apply the law of indices here all we have becomes 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power log 5 raised to 2 then divided by 2 raised to power log 3 is 2 minus also 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 is 2 then over 2 raised to power log 3 is 2 is it equals to 100 on this side then 2 raised to the power 6 to multiply itself 6 times. That's 64. Then times. Here follows on we have a raised to the power log b to be a, which is equals to b. So this here we have 5. Then over 3 minus 2 squared. That's 4. Then times also 5 over 3. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then. Yes, 64 times 5, we have 320 over 3 minus 4 times 5, that's 20 over 3. This equals to 100 on this side. Then we bring this together as one fraction. SCM is 3. Yeah, 320 minus 20, that's 300. This equals to 100 on this side. And 300 over 3, of course, that's 100, which is equals to hundred from the end. that is left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude here that x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell share this video with thumbs up and put your comment See you in the next class and bye for now.